Easy for who? You or me? Yeah, it was easier for me if I did that. Okay, we're going. Why don't you just make a test that's really easy for you Boy, if I could do that, I would. But I need to make sure you guys understand it. Um, no? Okay. Let's, uh, let's talk about this thing one more time. A's get us to college. What? A's get us to college, correct. Um, and that's really the most important thing. Uh, but if I were to have, okay, which one's, uh, is caucus positive or negative? Uh, caucus is negative. Oh, Who says it's positive? Raise your hand. Who says it's negative? Raise your hand. Who doesn't know? Raise your hand. Okay. Oh, it's split. It's positive. It's positive. So if I were to have Staphylococcus, what would be the best uh, antibiotic? Tetracyclines. Okay. Yep. Yep. Staphylococcus. Caucus is positive. And the highest number, the higher the number, the more effective that would be against respect the respective bacteria. If I had E. coli, what would be the best? It's a bacilli. What? Celo, celosin. Celosin. Cephalofl okay, if I were to have a minor bacterial infection, what would you give me? Macrolides. Macrolides. Why? Because it can do both, but it's not super powerful. If I had a severe bacterial infection, what would I use? Cephalexin. Does everybody understand that chart? No? What, what don't you understand? Because it's a caucus. So staphylococcus, the caucus at the end, refers to its shape. No. So, so I would give you, okay, what are the two shapes? The Name. Caucus. Bacilli and caucus, right? And so Staphylococcus would be a what shape? Staph. Circle. circle. Caucus is a circle, right? So no, caucus is a circle. It's positive. Staphylococcus is, well, staph, uh, whatever. And caucus at the end refers to its shape. Just know that E. coli is bacilli. So E. coli is a bacilli. I'll probably say... Bacillus or bacilli, same thing. Um, one's plural, one's singular, but I don't know which one's which. Okay, <clears throat> one more thing, especially people online to know. Narrow spectrum and broad spectrum antibiotics. What do you think that is re referring to? I have it labeled there. It's not going to be a vocab. Broad is like it can affect multi narrow, it's affected. Yes. Broad, broad is if I had an infection and I didn't know what it was, you just throw it at it. Like, well, we'll see if this works. Broad spectrum. Whereas if I knew exactly what I had, I'm going to target it specifically. So narrow spectrum has a small, narrow, but it focuses really hard on it. Whereas broad just kind of, it's like a clean sweep. So like, the only, only way I can think of it is war. Like, like a, a broad weapon would be like a bomb. A, a narrow spectrum weapon would be like a sniper rifle. So think of narrow spectrum as a sniper rifle. It's just one person, right? Whereas a broad spectrum is like, boom, levels everything. Gets rid of I watched Oppenheimer last night, if you couldn't have guessed. It's a, movie. It's a great movie, yeah. What have I better? I wasn't such an idiot. I, better, I, was, <laughs> I, wasn't such an idiot. I I honestly I was confused. Which one? 
I, I was confused too. I figured it out, but no. <laughs> Oppenheimer. I I would love to talk Oppenheimer. Blue Beetle. It's on HBO. It's fair. HBO is the best streaming service. Okay. I'll stop wasting your guys' time. Let's talk plague. Let's talk plague. Gracias. I just spell areas with an I. What was what was the cause of specific cause of the plague? Fleas. More specifically, why were the fleas the problem, or what on the fleas? The bacteria on the fleas. Um, uh, because, I don't know, think of COVID. Why wasn't it a problem before? Well, it kind of mutated. And, yeah, it mutated to be highly infectious. Um, especially towards fleas. Um, so if I were to give you a question, and the question said, uh, what, what do I want? Name the specific cause of the plague. And I, I gave you fleas, rats, um, chips, and bacteria. What would you say? I'd say bacteria, right? Specific cause. What, um, what, what, what major events leading up to the plague, what, what were the major events leading up to the plague that already put the people that were about to get infected No, that was about 600 years prior. Just don't think about what Mr. McKenna told us. Uh, uh, crops failure, temperature plummet, and global climate shift. Crops fail, temperatures plummet, and global climate shift. Um, yeah, yeah, so this, this, this is a, I don't, I don't know, because I don't know enough about it, but, um, it is known that the planet goes in cycles of cooling and warming, and, yeah, it, we were actually in an El Nino, we, we, we watched the El Nino video earlier today with, and that, and that El Nino? Okay, I think you guys should know what an El Nino that is. But um, it does happen every two to seven years. Were you, were you in here? Yeah, okay. You're going to watch it again. I'm sorry. I think it's important, though Though it's not about um, it's not about bacteria. I think you guys should know. We'll talk about it. Hey, remind me. Remind me another day to talk about it because we got stuff to do. Put it on Wednesday. Uh, El Nino. E L N I N O. There you go. You know what it comes from? I mean, it means the boy, right? It comes from Spanish fishermen noticing that. Um, I was about to be so cool. <laughs> Dang it. Um, it comes from f fishermen noticing that in certain years, the fishing was worse. There was not good fishing in certain years, so they named it El Nino, which it doesn't make sense to me either. But they described it as, like, El Nino is like the special sun. I, I don't know. We'll watch the video. It'll make sense. But because... Because I know some Spanish. Right? Do I, I, Duolingo. I get Duolingo. What does L mean? The. 
It's the male version of the. L means the. Did you? That happens. Okay. So, uh, I'm not able to. Oh, okay. Can you guys upload to the drop folder? Oh, okay. Because I want to give you my slides. Okay, so we can do, yes, um, how's the best way to do it? I want you guys to see my slide. Here, we'll go through, say that again, huh, what, make, make it more simple? Me by that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, I'm not going to make it as difficult as last time. How about that? <coughs> okay. I haven't. I haven't yet starred the. Well, I haven't yet starred the virus section. Okay. So, here, how about I do this? I, I talk about the stuff that I think is going to be important later. Oh, you could do it now, but later you can go back through the video. You can check or like star all the things that you have in your notes that I said to be important. Does that make sense? I, I don't know. I'm trying to make it easy. I have all this. I just don't have access to the drop folder. Maybe Mrs. I can go to Mrs. Preheim. Yeah. It'll be over both. It's an exam. It's an exam. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't finished it yet. So. What am I at for points? Forty. Well. 30 comes from, oh, good point. I haven't thought of them yet. Good reminder. Um, okay. No, no, no. These, you've seen this before. They, this just has the stars on it. Prokaryotes? Same thing. Um, Oh, are you on the hand? Okay, I see. I see. Cool. There's two domains: domain bacteria and domain uh, archaea. Know this. Decomposers also know this: that they're decomposers and their domains. Bacteria. Um. They're found almost everywhere except extreme environments. The most common and most diverse organisms on Earth. It's a good one. Um, they're peptoglycan. The, the, no. Peptidoglycan. It's not the cell wall, but it functions at. It. Here. Um, Peptidoglycan. So these are the two membranes. Oh, it is a cell. Excuse me. It is a cell wall. Um, but there's membranes as well. So peptidoglycan. Uh, I don't need you to know much uh, from Archaea, but two things found known as extremophiles, which means they love extremes. And they're methanogens. What's methanogen? They produce methane. Okay, structures. The nucleoid. It's the area, it's not an actual organelle, not a membrane brown organelle, that holds the uh, genetic material. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. And then the capsule. It's a layer of polysaccharides that form around the cell wall. It helps prevent drying out. It's also a, a form of locomotion, which means what? Train Yes, okay. That's a locomotive. Movement. Locomotion means movement. Flagella. It's their tail. <laughs> okay. Gram stains. I would know this entire slide. What's 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 the order of the gram stains? Crystal violet. Boom. Iodine. Yes. Alcohol. I had to think about it. Alcohol. Alcohol. Soul. Saffron. Saffron. Excuse me. Saffron's a spice. Saffron's the dye. Saffron. What? That's the order. Know the order. I'll probably put the exact same questions I did last time. Just copy. What? No, 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 no. Good call, though. I appreciate the, the heads up. Gram negative is pink. Gram ne positive is purple. Um, yep. I wish I could star this like 18 times. Just know the difference between bacilli and coccyx. Coccyx? Coccyx is a bone, cocci. Huh? I don't know who said something. Staphylococcus. Yep. Um, bacillus anthraxis. Yeah. Reproduction. Know the difference between these two. Binary fission means it produces two of the same, whereas conjugation is when they, they attach to each other and they exchange genetic information. Endospores. It's just uh, yeah. It's it's a it's a way for them to survive harsh climates. They are a dormant cell. They do not have normal cellular function. Um, dormant. They are not active. And an autoclave is used to kill these cells. I don't expect you to remember all the numbers. Okay, just know all of this. Heterotroph. Hetero means other. Needs other. Photo, autotroph. Photo means light. And auto means it makes it itself. So, um... Photosynthesis. And then chemotroph uses inorganic compounds to produce organic compounds for other organisms. Name a time that you probably see, not every day, but at least every week um, in the summertime where chemoautotrophs would be at. Going on a drive by the fields. Yeah, going on a drive by the fields. What fields? Soybean fields. They are heterotrophs. Worms are heterotrophs, but um, they're not. They're not prokaryotes. Nitrogen cycle fixes N2 into NH4 and NH3. Don't worry about the different stages of, um, like, there's nitrogen. Yeah. And there's denitrification bacteria. Don't worry about the.
cyanobacteria. What kind of metabolism do they use? Wait, what? I like this spot. It's a good spot. What kind of metabolism does cyanobacteria use? Okay, so there's heterotrophs, photoautotrophs, and chemotrophs. What would uh, cyanobacteria be classified as? Photo, uh, pho, photoautotrophs. Yep. They use CO2, water, and light, and create O2 and sugar. That's 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 like if there was two chemical equations for life, that's one of them. CO2, water, and light for O2 and sugar. Okay. Con nitrogen fixation, converting nitrogen gas into, no into ammonia. It might be ammonium. They're very similar. I won't, I won't stick you with it, like ammonia versus ammonium. Um, nitrogen gas is N2, ammonium is NH4. So this is the uses of bacteria. So gut flora, they break down food particles in your stomach that you can't break down. And they provide you with their waste, which is accessible to humans. What? Dry steak, gene, gene dye, um, penicillin. Yep. Um, does anybody know of any other commercial? It's it's everywhere. I always forget the good ones. Um, that's a good question. It's a. We'll Google that. About that. It's, it's kind of like, it's like a, it's like a shrimp. Yeah, they're alive. They're like bacteria, a bacteria is alive. But you mean like, do they have a brain? Probably not. Spores. Uh, um, that's a good question. Definitely. I don't know. Write that down. Write it down. Um, I'm sorry I'm saving my back here today for some reason. I am getting old. Disease causing bacteria. Um, bacteria causes disease due to a release of toxins um, when stress is put upon them. They don't consume you. They release toxins that kill you. So that's what happens. Yeah, true. But there was a question on our last test where it said bacteria eats the lining of your stomach. No, it does not. Bacteria releases toxins that kill the lining of your stomach. Is that bad? No, it's good. Yes. That's what a, like food poisoning would be when bacteria releases toxins because it's put under stress. Yep. Antibiotic.
material for the entire environment. If I were you. Somebody describe the lytic cycle to me. Yep. So what's Yep. So and then describe the lysogenic cycle. That's okay. So, can somebody, s would anybody be able to sum up the difference between the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle? It's not a bad idea. Yep. Okay. What I want to put is virus goes into one cell, then it's just waiting for it to replicate more cells, and it just waits until then it's. They're the same thing, it's just the lytic cycle is one cell being taken over, and the lysogenic cycle is all of them. Is it all being spread? I think. I think Carson, Carson is the most correct. Oh, my name is Carson, and I think I'm a big cool. You all. You were all. It was all good. No, no, no. I, I don't mean to take away from Preston. Preston did a great job. <laughs> but um, if I were to say the difference between the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle, I would say the lytic cycle occurs when the virus enters a cell and the virus enters a cell and immediately begins replication of more virus cells. And it then it bursts out of the host cell to do it again. Whereas the lysogenic cycle, the, um, Wait, slow down. Oh, okay. so the lytic cycle is when the virus inserts its genetic material into the host cell and the host cell immediately begins to replicate the virus until that virus fills up the cell so much that it bursts out into the body or whatever and it can this virus then can repeat the process to another cell so it's a so the, yeah it's like inserts the material viruses begin to get replicated viruses are made so many viruses are made they burst out and then comes back again whereas the lysogenic cycle you ready for that the lysogenic cycle is when it inserts the dna so this would be the strand of dna and it waits. It doesn't immediately begin to replicate that virus. And that cell splits, keeps on splitting. The, the host cell um, goes through mitosis and while replicating that DNA. So everybody remembers that DNA is replicated when the cell splits. And so it just continues to reproduce, multiply. And it keeps on replicating that virus's DNA until one day, um, either via biological clock, which would be age, or um, like a stress put onto the cell occurs, then cell, um, what am I trying to say? Then virus cells would begin to be produced or because an aneurysm, an aneurysm may cause it. Um, I'm thinking there's, there's two, two examples I'm thinking of. So yes, yes, that's exactly it. Cancer is not virus, but an STD, yeah. So think of herpes simplex one would be a, uh, 
a version of the lysogenic cycle, and most people get their cold sores or whatever sores um, when they're stressed or they haven't slept a lot or they just got sick. So when their body has had a lot of stress put on it. Because when your body does that, it releases enzymes and hormones into the rest of the body. And usually that would be good because they'd be like, It'd be like the hormones would be telling your body to reproduce. It'd be like, make more cells. We've lost some because of the sickness or whatnot. What's up, Preston? So the, the virus take over a bacteria cell and do the same thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Um, whereas a biological clock would be if someone were to have chicken pox when they were young, if, if they don't get, they have a shot now for it where you don't have to, get shingles, but if they weren't to get a shot sometime in their 40s, 30s and 40s, um, something happens. I, I, it's, again, probably hormones. That, yeah, midlife crisis where, where they would begin to produce that virus again. Yeah. I don't know. He's a good guy. Um, what? No, he took it out for the weather. Oh, I'll let him watch over you guys. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. Um, I don't know. So use for normal reproduction. That'll happen. It's a, I did the same thing in high school. You know, I, that's uh, very common. All right, let me finish up, and then I'll give you your bonus questions. Uh, Kidham Cave, the only thing I want you to know is it's where Ebola and Marburg come from. What's a hemorrhagic fever? Yeah, yeah it's... Uh, well, it's a, a broad term for when you have hemorrhaging of your vessels and a fever. Yep. Oh, so it was a little Yes. Okay, last one. Prion. Know what a prion is. It's a misfolded protein in which your body picks up and begins to replicate that misfolded protein misfoldedly. That's all I want you to know about that. Correct. It's very, very hard to get rid of it. Nearly impossible. If you ever, if you ever get the time, I have a recommendation for a movie to watch. It's called Lorenzo's Oil. It's very good. Oh, I didn't even, th I didn't think about your extra credit until right now. So I'm going to look up my favorite quotes and then I'm going to have you figure out who wrote them. You want to do one from a movie? Ooh, oh, this is, might be too mean. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it, an idea. Nope, Kreutzfeldt's Jacobs disease. Nope, CWD, scabies, and mad cow disease. I, I don't expect it to. 
with I would I would maybe I would be like um, CWD found in deer populations often um, occurs because of misfolded proteins. This would be a and then virus, bacteria, prion, or fungus, and you'd have to know. No, no, all of it. And that's the thing that they announce in the news, like... Is that too much? I, I'm going to pick the key ones. I don't care about who... I Like, the name of the guy, I don't care. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. Put my blood, sweat, and tears into it. Yeah. Just like, just like, where did it come from? Um, you know, what? like a big one, what was the religious? Where, where did it come from? Fl bacteria on fleas. Like, like, that's what I mean. Yeah, not, not like what region. Okay. Um, Oh, know the difference between the pneumonic and bubonic plague. I know, I, I, but I like it. Why do you like it? I don't know. Okay, that's one. It's, it's actually a very, it's, it's, it seems dumb, but it's actually a very, um, I, I think it's profound. Yep, you gotta figure out who wrote it. So the evidence that supports the theory of the new money plan, would you like that, or would you like know the difference between them? Know the difference between them. Um. And you want me to do another quote from a movie? I'll do one from my favorite one from a movie. I, I will take either the actor's name or the person he played. Um, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, hold up. I got it. I got it on my phone. It's actually in my my notes. No. And I want you to figure out who said this line right here. How exciting. I love that line. It's a great line. All right. You guys understand what, what, how to complete this? You've, got, you've probably seen it, the movie. Yeah. This is not an Oppenheimer. It's a good movie. All right, are we good? I'm going to shut off the video. See you tomorrow, people.